Hey guys, coming at you with a little update video, which I don't know if anyone will even see this. I've been getting a handful of comments on my videos that I think raises a few questions because my son Van was born over a year ago now and I have been back posting videos and recipes since last year, April. And I've been seeing comments lately of, hey, I'm glad to see you back. I've missed you. You know, I haven't seen you since you had the baby. And I rebounded really well after the first break I took. But since I took another break from YouTube less than a year after my first one, I think I've been a little punished by the YouTube algorithm and have not really recovered. But I wanted to come here and let you all know that I have been posting and also I've also been getting comments about people saying they are now unsubscribed from my channel and I lose subscribers all the time and I'm not sure if that's people actually unsubscribing or if it's just YouTube unsubscribing people but if you are watching this video I would really appreciate it if you checked to make sure you are still subscribed to my channel because I have been putting videos up for an entire year and this was probably the most videos I've put up in a year because I did a lot of review videos. I literally did a keto weekly update for 30 weeks. So I did an update video every week of my keto journey, which I haven't lost anything. I think I was a little bit too optimistic with having a baby and being able to get right back into it and lose all the weight. But that ended up going to monthly updates where I have five of those also. So I did five months in a row where I put up a monthly update when Van was turning another month old. So there was a lot of videos with Van being super cute and I they didn't get a lot of views but I was kind of happy just to have those for myself even just as like what's Van done this month, what you know his progression and I'll always have that for him to look back on later. So that's 35 videos right there. I put up 38 recipe videos. So I'll probably be linking some in the description box from the last year. So if you say you haven't seen me in a year since I had the baby, you have a lot of recipes that you missed out on. So I'll definitely link those below. I did 10 review videos. I did two frequently asked questions. One about my egg white bread loaf, which a lot of people have problems with. So I made a whole video on everything I learned. And one all about keto sweeteners because I get that question a lot also and it's one that a lot of people just still don't understand even it took me forever to understand that my monk fruit sweetener which a lot of my blog posts say monk fruit sweetener it's monk fruit erythritol but I went through all those different sweeteners the glycemic index all that in those I have two camping videos with <laughs> we went camping with man which was an adventure at like I think he was only four months old I think at the time yeah, didn't go too great, but yeah, that video's up there. So along with that, I wanted to put this up because it has been four years since I started YouTube. My anniversary was last month. It's been four years. And my last Keto Monthly update I did, I talked about maybe leaving YouTube and focusing more on my bakery business, but I actually decided to go full in on YouTube and I'm still not making enough to get by, not even close. But I feel like if I keep putting out better, more complicated recipes, I think I'll get there eventually. And it was kind of dumb just to split my time so much between doing the bakery business and the YouTube thing because I wasn't making enough money at either. So I was splitting my time up and not succeeding at either venture. I am all in on YouTube, so I'd really appreciate it if you did go back and watch all those old recipes if you haven't seen them. Also making sure you're subscribed, liking, commenting, all that stuff, sharing with friends. It would really help me out. This is not like a begging video, but I just wanted to like, I don't know, put something out there because I keep getting these messages saying, you know, oh, I haven't seen you. And I think I've just been kind of penalized by YouTube and my videos haven't been popping up on people's feeds because I went so long without posting, which really I only went three months. So I took only three full months off when I had Van. I even posted 
a video two days before I had them. I posted a video, I think eight days after I had them. But the last video was like the beginning of January and it was my birth story, which obviously isn't keto related. So I understand why that wasn't pushed to people to watch. But since then, my recipe videos have been very like low viewing and stuff like that. So I just think because I took those three months, YouTube just hasn't been showing my videos to my subscribers or maybe my subscribers are getting unsubscribed. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm hoping that just keeping on, you know, putting up one good recipe video a week, I will be able to build again and hopefully succeed at having this as my full-time job. And when that does happen, which I'm really hoping it does, I can eventually get to a point where I can hire out some of the work and I'll be able to figure out shipping. And I know I get a lot of questions on if I ship. I get emails on my website and everything about people asking for me to ship. But right now it is really expensive to ship because I'm not doing it regularly. I can't sign up for like a subscription that is going to cut the cost down because I don't have time to allocate to baking for shipping. So like I did one shipment and it was $120 to go like not that far so it is really expensive if you don't do a lot of shipping if i get to where i'm comfortable with the money i'm making from youtube i'll be able to open up shipping and to you guys which is kind of where i want to be like i want to stop doing vendor shows and just do you know shipping my goods and putting my goods in restaurants around the area that will keep me in business in that regards. And then if I can have people doing my editing, my blog post writing, my social media work, all that stuff is stuff I do all the time. And I only have two days a week without Van to get all that stuff done. And then he takes a two hour nap every day. So I have two hours in a couple of days and the weekends I try to stay free for like, either I have a vendor show or I wanna hang out with family and see them at this point. I am just trying to put a recipe video up every week. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. Make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I put a new video up. I have a feeling that happened with a lot of people. They don't have notifications turned on. So even if they are still subscribed, YouTube is not going to tell people that I put videos up if I took such a long break. So I think that was part of it too. So hitting that bell icon ensures that you get notifications that I put a new recipe video up. Along with that, I do have a lot of videos. I put 96 videos up in the last year, so that's more than one a week. But I have 250 videos on my channel, and 150 of those are recipes. You can search my channel. You can literally go to my channel, and there's a search bar, and you can search all my recipes. Other than that, some people have asked for a van update, so I will be inserting that here. Say hi, Van. Say hi. Oh, are you being shy now? He started giving hugs. Oh, so great. Hi. Yeah, you're on there. Say hi. <laughs> he wants the actual phone and he's moving the tablecloth. <laughs> he is over 16 months old now. He's been going and walking. Now he's running. He's walking since he was ten and a half months old. He's eating all the foods. <laughs> Giving hugs. Mm. Says so many words. What's on your jammies? Skeleton. Yeah. Skeleton. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, but my day is just full with him. Every day. <laughs> Cracks me up all day. Amazes me every day. No crawling up on the table. No crawling. No crawling up there. <laughs> uh, he can do so many things. He can repeat a lot of words, we say. Can you give me a high five? High five. Yeah. Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotten his first scraped knees. He's been wearing shorts. It's finally getting warm here. Okay. 
He loves swinging on the swing set. We haven't gotten a chance to get him in the water yet or down a slide. Because every weekend has been crappy. Yeah. What? He's obsessed with dinosaurs right now. Oh, um, well, in, he can usually tell me what he wants, which is nice. Sometimes I have no idea, but a lot of times I know. So really ask for chicken. You can ask for milk. Chicken. He loves his avocados, tomatoes. Chicken's really the only meat he eats. He's not big on bread or carbs. He'll take a couple bites of a cookie and that's it. He won't eat a whole cookie. Yeah. Purple. Purple. Purple? You see purple paper? He says so many words, I'm just like, huh? You know this? We haven't done a haircut yet. Purple. Purple? Huh? You want the purple paper? No. What do you want? We're trying to teach him to be nice. No hitting. He's in his hitting and biting phase here. Yeah, and he's a cutie Papa. pants. Papa. Purple. Yeah, he sleeps great. I'm lucky in that regard. Papa. Eating ain't the best. He doesn't eat a lot. He's in his low percentage for weight. He is pretty tall though, so he's 60th percent for height. <laughs> so he's gonna be tall and skinny, I think, just like Adam, which is fine by me. But yeah, so. That's what he's been up to. Hop, hop, hop. The bunnies. He loves Elmo and dinosaurs. He calls them reptars because if any of you guys are 90s kids, Rugrats, I started calling his dinosaur reptar. Tartar. Tartar. Yeah, you're obsessed. Maybe one of these days he'll learn that they're called dinosaurs. You say dinosaur? But. But. Well, that's it for us. <laughs> we gotta go eat some lunch. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, good job. Well, I hope you guys didn't find this video too rambly and not like I was begging, but just that I could get help to succeed in YouTube. YouTube's a business, everything matters. That's why taking a break, it definitely harmed my momentum on this channel but I would like to get it back because I just think people like my channel they just don't know that they'd have to search me or you know check to see if they're still subscribed and stuff like that I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely check out my Saturday recipe videos I have so many lined up planned to go so I hope unless there's some unforeseen circumstances sickness or something like that god willing that doesn't happen i should have a recipe video up every saturday of this summer so go check those out make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys all on saturday bye guys happy keto baking